Hi friends, Dr. Bob here. You know, it's nice to always have something that you can whip up in a hurry in case somebody unexpectedly drops by during the holidays. And also, if it reminds people of tropical climates during the cold winter months, that's even better. I first made this recipe several years ago on my blog before I was videoing everything. The original recipe calls for canned salmon, which is horrible to work with. And in my tasting notes at the time, I said it tasted just like tuna salad. And so if I make it again, I'll use tuna which is what I'm doing today. Come on, let's go. Melikalikimaka is the thing to say on a bright Hawaiian Christmas day. That's the island greeting that we send to you from the land where palm trees sway. Here we know that Christmas will be green and bright. The sun will shine by day and all the stars at night. And then Wonder Woman said, what? Oh, hello. You've caught us just getting ready to tape our podcast. Did you know we have a podcast? We do. Comes out every week almost. It's about comic books, but mostly we just tell childhood stories and gossip about our neighbors who we can see through our window here. That's why he calls me Twitchy Curtains. Well, I am the president of the HOA, so I have to stay on top of things, don't I? <laughs> we always like to start the podcast with a little snack, because we've probably just been napping. Yes, that's what the coffee's for, to help wake us up. Well, I hope it wakes up your taste buds. I'm going to smell the food because I know that one of our viewers really hates it when I do it. It's part of my taste experience. Here I go. Oh. Did you smell something I didn't? I don't think I want to eat this. Why not? Well, it's got two competing scents. Banana and tuna. Oh, I just dropped some food on my... Well, I applaud your sense of smell. Why do they compete? Because they're not supposed to be together. Many Polynesian societies cook tuna inside banana leaves. You're making it shut up. Yeah, I yeah, am, but that sounds good, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Well? It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Actually, I might sneak this into some sort of appetizer with one of our parties. Well, you have tasted something like this before. Have I? Yeah. <gasps> Did you see that person speeding? Get their plate. <laughs> oh, it's the next one, Amber. Mm. Anyway. So, one foot on that one. Uh huh. Um, yeah, we made it several years ago, but with salmon. But in the tasting notes, I said, it tastes just like tuna salad with banana in it. Yeah. And if I ever make it again, I'm just going to use tuna, mm. which I did. Mm -hmm. Tuna, banana, celery, pickle relish, pineapple, mayonnaise. It's delicious. We still can't taste the pineapple. I even added extra. No, I, I, honest to God, I, I wouldn't. If you'd said, if you told me there are, you know, five ingredients in this, I would have told you tuna, banana, celery, mayonnaise. And I wouldn't have known what the fifth one is. Ooh. I just got a big taste of banana. Mm. Um, you're supposed to dice your oh, banana. Oh, I see. There's six ingredients because there's relish in here, too. Yeah. You're supposed Ooh. to... If you listen to the podcast, you get to hear the dogs bark a lot. And these squeaky chairs, which my Aunt Lula made the needlepoint seat covers for. Which means we can't ever get rid of them. Um, there's a very fine line between dicing banana and mashing. So yes. So make sure your banana is not too ripe, ladies. Right. As if anybody's going to make this. I would definitely recommend making this for one of your little parties. I would definitely recommend making this for one of your little parties, especially our friend who says that I sniff the food too much. If he tastes it and loves it after smelling it and hating it, you know it's good. I'm talking to you. Mm-hmm. All right. We have to get recording now.
If yes. you'd like to find us, look for Checkered Past wherever you download your free, um, what are they called? Podcasts. Yeah. Podcasts, oh. yes. And we're, this week we're talking about Wonder Woman. Yes. She's going to fight sharks and Nazis. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>